Hey guys, what's up? My name is Ashley, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to draw a cis 4 5 dimethyl cyclohexene molecule. This is problem 3.32a, and we're going to be starting first with the parent chain, which can be found at the end of the name. Cyclo tells us that it's going to be in a ring. Hex tells us there's going to be six carbons in the parent chain. Ian's going to tell us that there's going to be one double bond. Now I just put it on the bottom. You can put it anywhere you want initially. And then that step is pretty easy. We quickly move on to step two, which is locating the uh, substituents. This can be found in this whole big part right here, 4 comma 5 dash dimethyl. Methyl tells us um, that there's going to be uh, methyl substituents, which means one carbon and uh, three hydrogens attached to it. Di tells us there'll be two of those. 4 and 5 um, tells us the location on the parent chain, which carbons they're attached to. So you can draw this um, two ways. You can number it two ways according to the IUPAC rules um, in this particular problem because either way you number them, left and right, um, you get the same numbers for the uh, substituents. We uh, begin by naming um, one of the carbons on the double bond. That's always the rule if you have a double bond. You start with one of those carbons and moving towards the next carbon um, in the double bond gets the next um, least uh, number. And then um, step three, we go to the dashes and wedges to indicate stereochemistry. Because we have that cis up here, we just can't leave that hanging. Cis indicates that um, the substituents will be in the same direction. I uh, formed some molecules uh, beforehand with my model set to kind of show you guys how this is going to go. This would be a cis molecule. Um, I thought this would be a little better representation than um, a 2D figure. You see that the blue, um, the blue pieces represent the car uh, carbon substituents and they are going the same way. That's the cis stereochemistry. In this model set, we have them going opposite ways, the white indicating the hydrogens. So because they're going different ways, we're going to call that trans. We are trying to indicate this kind of stereochemistry. So um, on paper, the only one of the key ways to do that is the dash and wedge concept, which just means that wedges are um, projecting the substituent out towards you, and the, um, the uh, dashes um, are telling you that they are going away from you. So if we're indicating cis stereochemistry, we're going to be giving them either both dashes or both wedges. Both of these are technically correct. Um, put the hydrogen there in blue just to show you guys that the um, how the hydrogen would respond. And so I hope you guys uh, can now understand how to indicate stereochemistry as well as um, drawing a molecule just from the name.